Okay, today I'm going to show you very simply how to build a native application on your iPhone. Uh, that's my iPhone just here, and uh, if we can see it, I can move it around, and I'm going to put a native application onto that. I'm going to use Xcode, that's version 8.2, and it's I'm just going to keep it real simple and very fast and just show you some of the little kind of nice things along the way, because it it's, doesn't seem so bad this IDE. So I'm going to create a new project, the middle one there, and I'm going to call it, oh, I'm going to create a single view application, just keep it simple, and I'm going to call it shoot one leave everything as default, I'm going to use the Swift language, and I'm going to use the div universal device next. Now I've just got to create a folder to save it in, I'll create, and I'm just going to replace the sort of my preparation I did earlier already uh, my display name there my bundle identifier and my team if you've never done this before you'll need to create a credit team it's pretty easy just to add account and here you do just follow the prompts and you get have your, you can have yourself your own Apple ID uh, and development team there we go uh, deployment target 10.2 we've seen all this that's good uh, let's just continue on now to the sort of the main bit of it we're going to create a real simple application the first thing we're going to do is go to the main storyboard just over here and when that opens up that's kind of the the canvas of your phone what it looks like what I'm going to do is set mine to iPhone 5 or SE because that's the version I've got I'm going to go down here keep it real simple I'm going to grab a button I'm going to drag it into the, into the thing I can just center it horizontally and I can uh, I'm going to grab a label as well. Okay, so I'm just going to now double click that button. And I'm going to call it My Button. And I'm going to double click that label. And you want to go call it My Label. Uh, I'm just going to recenter that. No, it's not that important to recenter, it's just if you like those kinds of things. What I'm going to do now is go to this assistant editor view, which shows me kind of the code uh, that is related, some related code. In this case, it's view controller.swift. It decided to show me straight away, which is that one there. But if I go to main storyboard, it's going to show me, I don't know, a place where I can paste my code. So this button and that label don't do anything right now. I'm going to make that button change the text in that label just when you press it. To do that, hold down control, drag a line down to here, and I'm going to create an action. It's called a button action. And I'm going to call it that and connect it. And there we go. When I hover over that little dot, it tells me that's my button. Now I'm going to make my button change the label, but the code doesn't know what the name of the label is yet, or hasn't got a reference to the label. So I'm just going to add a reference to the label, hold down control, and just drag it in there, and let go. There's actually another way of doing that as well. If, if you if you just just while you while you're watching, over here is the connections inspector. So all your objects will have a the possibility of having some kind of connection. So I'm just going to use the referencing outlets option here, grab that and drag that down here and uh, as an outlet, okay, I'm just going to call it label ref connect. Uh, there we go and I'll just put a uh, space there. Now I could have done that this way as well, just hold control and done that and it would have done the same thing but I, this time I just tried it using a different method, just grab the dot from there 
drag it in. Now, when I press that button, this action will be called. And for this action, I want to label ref dot text equals Sean was, oh, hold on, let me just fix that. Sean was ER. There we go. Cool. Let's test that out on the iPhone. Up here, top left, I've got my device selected. I could have selected a, a, one of the iOS simulators, but I don't care about that. I'm just going to use my iPhone. I'm going to press play. And it's compiling Swift source codes, Lincoln, compiling, etc., etc. Succeeded. Now it's installing it on my phone. Now I could not launch Tut1. That's because my developer app certificate is not trusted on my device. That's easy. I'll show you how it's done. Let's go off to uh, settings. General. Profiles and device management. And there's my name. Now I just trust that. Trust. Cool. Now I should be able to just go down to this tute one that was just installed. Just on my, my thing there. And if I double click it or click it, I mean, it opens up. There we go. There's my button and it's changing my name. Well, it sort of cut my name off a little bit there. I'll show you how to fix that. We'll go back here and we'll just make that one label a little wider. Recenter it. Let's try that again. Just press play this time. My mobile phone. It should appear. There it gets my button. Sean was here. Very good. Uh, cool. Now I'm just going to show you something else real quick. Here in this project navigator, there are two storyboards. There's the main storyboard. That's the one we were just we were just editing. There's also the launch screen storyboard, which is looks the same. But what we can do, just change that, is that that is like the splash screen that happens when when your application starts. And I didn't create one of those yet, so what I'm going to do is going to uh, just uh, put an image in it, and I'll show you how I do that. So I got I got an image over here, which is my, my YouTube profile image. To get that onto there, I drag that over into my sort of project files area, I just drop it, and just press finish, it's good enough. And there it is there. And now I'll go back to my launch screen storyboard and go over here to the media uh, library. I can drag that in to there and just center it horizontally and vertically. Now, once again, if I press, there's my, there's my, uh, iPhone display. If I press play, I should get a little uh, splash screen, which will be my YouTube logo. There it is. Hey! Now there's my button. Sean was here. That's how to create a really basic um, iPhone native iOS app. And that's it. Shoot one. And you can do that too. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. See you later. Thanks for watching.